Hello, I'm Scott Florence and this channel is really just me keeping you up to date with the latest science news and explaining some of the science. Today, of course, I'm going to talk about the neutrinos that have exceeded the speed of light. This experiment was done by the scientists at CERN and Gran Sosso Laboratory in Italy, or LNGS. What was done is neutrinos, which are types of particles, are being sent from CERN to LNGS. This experiment was originally done to see how many of these neutrinos would decay into different larger neutrinos while travelling through the Earth. They had extremely accurate timing measurements, and what was discovered is that the Mao neutrinos, which were the ones that were being sent from CERN to LNGS, arrived 60 nanoseconds sooner than light would with a 10 nanosecond margin for error. That means that these neutrinos are travelling 20 parts per million faster than the speed of light. Now neutrinos are extremely hard to detect, so a constant stream of neutrinos were being sent from CERN to LNGS over the course of three years, and 16,111 Mao neutrinos were detected at both CERN and LNGS. The distance between CERN and LNGS is 732 kilometers and these neutrinos went straight through the earth because neutrinos don't tend to interfere with any matter which on the one hand means that much less building is required but on the other hand it means it's much more difficult to detect them this neutrino experiment was made by two super modules. One of them is the instrumented target section which weighs a total of about 625 tons and the other one is the magnetic Mauan spectrometer. These Mauans are fired by accelerating protons to having about 400 giga electron volts of energy by using the CERN super proton synchronite, by using the CERN super proton synchrotron. After these protons have been accelerated, they are then sent to the graphite neutrino production target using the kicker magnet. Here, the protons, which are composed of two up and one down quark, turn into mesons which are composed of one quark and one antiquark and these mesons are sent down a 1000 meter vacuum tunnel and decay into neutrinos during that period. After that the beam is almost pure Mauan neutrinos and is then sent through carbon and iron to stop any of the hadrons, hadrons being things like proton. After that it goes through two Mauan detectors and is then sent through the earth to LNGS. Now it's quite difficult to time these Mao neutrinos for how long they take to get from one place to another because they can't be timed from as soon as the protons are released because after those protons have become mesons the mesons could decay into Mao neutrinos at any point during the 1000 meters that they are going through the vacuum tunnel but they can be timed from when they pass through each of the detectors now there's an extremely low likelihood that these Mauan neutrinos will be noticed by the detectors because neutrinos tend to not interfere with matter. But because of the vast number that were sent through, it means that 16,111 were detected. Each of these 16,111 Mauan neutrinos have unique waveforms which are measured at each of the detectors. So despite the low likelihood of the Mauan neutrinos being picked up the, by the detectors, it means that they could be timed by observing how long it took to get from the detectors in CERN to the detectors in LNGS. This experiment finished several months ago, but has only recently been released to the public because the scientists at CERN spent months trying to make sure that they hadn't gone wrong anywhere. But, as far as they can tell, these neutrinos have exceeded the speed of light. This goes against much we know about physics, because Albert Einstein's theories of relativity depend on the speed of light being a cosmic speed limit. Many people seem to be saying that this means that Albert Einstein is wrong. No, that is not the case. Saying that Albert Einstein is wrong because something has gone faster than the speed of light is like saying Newton was wrong because his equations are not true in every circumstance. Because of these neutrinos possibly exceeding the speed of light does not mean that you should disregard everything that Einstein has said because his equations do still apply in most circumstances. If this is proved to be right, it's just rare circumstances like these that it's not true. But it does mean that physicists are going to require to 
find a new theory. Einstein's equations were proved right many, many times, such as particles that always decay at a constant rate, decaying slower when going around the Large Hadron Collider at significant fractions of the speed of light. Some people are saying, so what's the big deal about if something has gone faster than the speed of light? Well, the big deal is that much of what we know in physics is based on the speed of light being the cosmic speed limit, which means that nothing can ever go any faster than it. For reasons such as, as you approach the speed of light, your mass will ever increase and you would have infinite mass if you were to be going at the speed of light, which means that in order to reach it, you would require an infinite force. Also, as you approach the speed of light, time slows down to a stop. And if you go faster than the speed of light, then there are theories saying that you would be going backwards in time and other such craziness. If it is true that these neutrinos really have gone faster than the speed of light, that opens up a range of possibilities, such as interstellar travel, such as hyperspeed, time travel backwards in time as well as forwards. But at the moment, we just don't know. We need the next Einstein. <laughs> That's all for today. I'm also going to add that a couple of days ago, the Kepler Space Telescope's data has been released to the public. The Kepler Space Telescope being the telescope that is looking for Earth-sized planets orbiting around stars in the habitable regions. Also, I'm going to leave links to stuff that I liked or found interesting in the description below. So I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.